the first step is to put the thrust ring in about halfway. Now, this is important because if we put glue in first, when you push the thrust ring in, it's going to push glue down inside of the engine mount tube. But by doing this, I'm going to put glue on the outside of this, and then when I push this in, glue is going to push backwards, and we're not going to get any glue on the inside of the engine mount tube. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, now I have plenty of glue on this thrust ring. I'm going to take an engine and simply use this to push the ring all the way in, just like that. You see the glue pushed backwards onto the actual engine, and there's no glue pushed forward. So now this ring is in here and it's very square, nicely mounted, and I can guarantee that there's no glue on the inside of the engine tube itself. Um, I am going to go ahead and use um, a wire or a stick to put a little bit of glue, a little uh, fillet along the top edge of that ring just to give it a little bit more strength. Then I'm going to let this dry for about an hour and then I'm going to put it into the body. So the engine mount is now dry, or dry enough to work with. I'm going to dry fit everything just to make sure we don't have any problems. This should fit in here very smoothly, and this does. Sometimes the CA glue will make the inside of this somewhat rough, so you may want to make a quick pass of the sandpaper. Um, while this is sticking out, let's go ahead and add the tail cone like this. Okay, and then this will probably be pushed in a little bit more, like right about there. Okay. So this, this looks really good. And just go ahead and move this around a little bit until everything fits. Okay. And the engine clip is going to work like this. Oops. Pull it out a little bit. Okay. So this is what it looks like when I dry fit it. I'm going to now take this apart, and we have to determine the depth in terms of where the glue is going to go. Then I'm going to insert the first ring and then put more glue on this. Then insert both rings. Then I'm going to insert more glue. Then I'm going to put the tail cone on. So there's three steps to getting this whole thing glued together. And I'm going to use E6000 glue for everything. The reason is, again, this is a um, similar to an epoxy in chemistry, um, but it's got the consistency of a gel toothpaste. So it's very easy to put this on, and it'll stick exactly where you put it. It won't run around. So I'm going to go ahead and take this all apart, and I'm going to start gluing it together.